Hi guys, so my name is Sarah and I'm kind of new to YouTube so I'm going to start off by doing the TMI tag and that was tagged by my lovely friend Krista Lauren Gerard and I'm going to leave her channel down below. Uh, she does like Disney vlogs, um, she doesn't do them anymore but she was kind of doing this in the college program so if you have any questions or concerns or you want to know more about the Disney college program you can shoot her a message, she's super sweet and seriously one of the most amazing people I've ever met in my life. So I'm going to start off by doing the TMI tag, it's about 50 questions, so let's get started. I have them here on my phone. Yeah, so the first question is, what are you wearing? So I'm wearing this shirt, it's just from Key West, it's a really nice polo with white. I'm wearing this ruffle tangle, these um, black skinny pants from Old Navy. I'm wearing white Converse because you can't see them. Um, I'm wearing my cross ring. The earrings were a Christmas gift, um, and then I also have my BFF bracelet that me and um, two other girls that I know from have as well. So these are just what we have on me right now. The next question is, have you, have you ever been in love? And the, question, the answer of that is yes, I have been in love. It was with my previous boyfriend. Um, it kind of ended because... You know, he vowed love, but yes, I have been in love. Um, ever had a terrible breakup? Yes, with said person I fell in love with. I really did think for a while that life was over and that, you know, I wouldn't ever be able to move on, but life has a funny way of showing things, um, closing doors and opening new ones, so yes, I was able to move on and kind of realize that it's time to kind of like focus on myself and school and... So, yeah. Um, how tall are you? I'm actually pretty short. I am 5'1". Um, next question, number five, is how much do you weigh? Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm not sure. I believe 135? Maybe. I don't know, give or take a few pounds, more or less. Um, next question, any tattoos? No, I do not have any tattoos. I'm not sure if I'm planning on getting one anytime soon, probably not. I don't know. Um, I really had told him to look clean, but making a decision like that is going to have to take some serious thought because I'm not sure if I want to wreck my body in that way. I have thought about it, yes, um, but it's nothing like set in stone that I want to do it. Number seven, any piercings? Yes, just the regular one on each ear. Um, number eight, OTP. What does that mean? Give me one second, I'm going to check what this means. Ah. OTP. One true pairing. Fair, okay, so it means... Um, favorite combination of characters in a fandom. Oh, Jesus, I have a bunch. I, in my current hit thing, um, I am hugely obsessed with Disney. I am actually a Disney Circast member, so I do work for the amazing company, and I love it so much. But I'll get into more in-depth, if you guys want a video about that, kind of more in-depth on certain things that I can talk about, um... It's kind of an experience. I do highly recommend anybody that does love Disney to look into things such as working at the Disney store or working at the bo any of the parks. If you are a college student like me, I highly, highly, highly recommend. I haven't had the opportunity to do so yet, but I know a bunch of people that have to do the Disney college program, and it's seriously a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It is a paid internship to work with any of the Disney parks or either Disney World or Disneyland. Um, so it's interview process, and I have been through that process, so I can kind of share a little bit about that in another video, which I'm going to film after this, um, just kind of taking you step by step on kind of the process in general. Um, so I am currently obsessed with Descendants, so my hair, um, um, eh, can't talk today, OTP would probably be Evie and Doug, if you've seen that movie. To let you know, I am literally obsessed. It's like the new High School Musical. Um, but I also have my love 
for both one and it was only meant um I also have oh gosh I'm reading this new series called Significance which I'm getting to that also there's a whole bunch of videos I'm planning on filming um I can't remember the name and I'm Caleb and because I don't look it up. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing. I'm gonna look up the app. Caleb and Maggie. Um, I also like Elena and Stephen and Gaiman, either or. I go back and forth continuously. Um, is there anything else? No. I'm not really what I can think of at the top of my head. So we can move on to the next question. Alright, so question number nine. Favorite show? Does it have to be one? I can't really, like, pick one. Okay, so I'm going to pick my favorite five. Criminal Minds, I am in love with Criminal Minds. It's the only show that has made me question my major. I am a nursing major, so I really thought for a time that I wanted to do behavioral analysis. Um, but it's kind of a difficult job, just like nursing, so I decided not to. Um, so Criminal Minds, Once Upon a Time, I'm a huge oncer. I've met some of the cast, and they're completely amazing. Amazing, genuine people that I love to keep myself around. Uh, Hmm, gosh, this is harder than I thought. Vampire Diaries, uh, Pretty Little Liars, one more, come on. Brain is so punishing. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Girl Meets World, it's the spin-off to Boy Meets World, it's actually the sequel, so it's about their children. And I love Cory and Topanga, love, 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 love. Okay, so the next question is favorite bands. Um... I'm not really a huge band. I listen to whatever's on the radio, but I do love One Direction. I did go to their concert. I had the time of my life. Uh, what else? Um, I don't really have any other favorite band. Five Seconds of Summer. But that's about it. Number 11, Something You Miss. Gosh, I would literally pinch myself if I... Literally two years ago, I had said this. I do miss high school. Not so much of the school aspect, but I do miss hanging out with my friends um, on a daily basis, you know, and things were a lot simpler. You didn't have to worry about so much, like, you know, bills or, you know, studying and paying things and working. So, yes. Um, favorite song? Okay, let's see. Favorite song at the moment. Streaming music. I do go back and forth of a lot. But my new favorite app that I have on YouTube up for like 15 seconds is um Love Myself by Haley. Um I think I'm gonna love them today. Love myself by Haley Seinfeld. And I'll play 15 seconds. I feel like it's such an empowering song that, you know, it kind of, you know, makes you realize you don't need somebody to tell you that you're beautiful. You can love yourself. You don't need somebody to love you. Yes, the chorus goes, I love myself and I don't need anybody else. So it's really self-empowering, especially for women, because I know um, men can be degrading toward women, but also we are our biggest critics. So it's nice to know that, you know, you can love yourself and it is, you know, no one will love you more than yourself.
All right, so number 13 is how old are you? I am 19 years old. Wow. Um, I was just saying this to a bunch of people, especially like family, that I have been talking with my mom and it's so weird that next year I'll be 20. That number sounds so foreign. I remember turning 10 and thinking that I was a superhero and an adult and things have completely changed. Um, zodiac sign, I am a Gemini. What would you look for in a partner? I guess someone kind and caring, um, family or family oriented. Something like that. Um, sixteen is favorite quote. It's something that I've recently um heard of in an episode of Girl Meets World, and it's kind of stuck with me and. It's something that I hope everybody finds with at least one person. And it's that one person that gives you a guiding hand that has your best interests at heart. Um, 17 is favorite actor. Oh. <laughs> favorite actor. Ooh, this is hard. I am drawing a blank. I guess it would have to be. Mm, oh gosh, I don't know. I have so many. I'll pick one of each. So favorite guy actor would definitely be Channing Tatum. No words can describe Channing Tatum. Um, favorite actress would have to be... Oh. Hmm. Favorite actress. Hmm. Would have to be. I don't even know. I'm gonna go with Lindsay Hill. I think she's a pretty good one. Favorite color? Blue or pink? But blue mostly. Um, loud music or soft music? Just depends on what mood I'm in. It kind of fluctuates. Where do you go where when you're sad? Ooh. If I could go to this place all the time, I would. It would be Disney World when I'm sad, um, but physically that won't be possible. So I just go to my room and kind of watch a Disney movie. Um, how long does it take you to shower? Oh, gosh. Well, um, I've gotten in trouble many times in my house because I take too long of a shower. I have very long hair. Um, it actually is almost to my butt. Um, so I will take... It's easily a 45 to hour shower, but I've been able to control that to 25 minutes to 30 minutes, depending on the day. Um, how long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Uh, I've gotten better, but I have to wake up at least a half an hour early just to get out of bed, so it can take 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, ever been in a physical fight? No, I'm not really a violent person. Turn on. I guess a turn on for me. Oh gosh. Somebody well mannered, um, kind, family oriented. Um, actually, something that you don't get where I'm from, I live in Miami, is guys with manners. So that's a huge turn on. If you find somebody that holds the door open for you or says, Excuse me, or, you know, it's very nicely mannered, embraced well, that's a huge turn on. Turn off rude people. So pretty much 99.9% of everybody that lives in Miami. The reason I joined YouTube, I don't know, I've been wanting to do it for a while and I've seen a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of people say that, you know, you just let me know when it's time to do it and everyone recommends it, so I'm just going to try it out. Um, last thing that made you, oh, I skipped one, 27 fears. I'm hugely afraid of cockroaches. I don't like them, especially if they're flying. No, 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 no. I hate scary movies, too. I, I, no, can't do that. I don't like being scared out of my bejeebas. So, no, scary movies. Uh, 28, last thing that made you cry. Mm, last thing that made me cry. What was the last sad movie that I watched? I haven't really cried much lately. 
um, I just sometimes get a little bit stressed and overwhelmed, so I think it's the first time I cried. Last time you said I love you to someone. Oh, that was today I said I love you to my mom. Meaning behind your YouTube name. I just love makeup and mascara. It was self-explanatory. Not much thought went into that. Um, last book you read. Oof. I haven't read in a while. But I have been reading significant, so that was the last book I read. The book you're currently reading is the same book I last read, same significance by Shelley Crane. I highly recommend it. They are coming out with a TV series. Um, it's going to be an online show, so it's going to be on a website kind of like Netflix, but it's not on Netflix. So um, I'll leave all the information down below about the book. Um, I highly recommend it. I met the cast when they came here in Miami for a uh, Supercon, and they're just sweet people. And yes. Okay, the last show you watched, Girl Meets World. I finally caught up on the mid of the second season. Um, last person you talked to, that would have to be my best friend, M. And her name is not really M, her name is Lula. She's my best friend. She's also my coworker at the Disney store. We kind of just hit it off. Um, so I call her M and she calls me E because she is the Mal to my Evie. So if you've seen Descendants, that's what it is. She's just my best friend. And also Janice. So it's a kind of a group chat. So those three of us are best friends. We're all coworkers and I love them to pieces. Let's see. The relationship we had between you and the person you last texted. Wow, I'm always jumping ahead of myself. So yes, we, me and Lula met. When I started working at the Disney store this July, um, it was just kind of an awkward thing at the beginning. She had given me her number for a certain thing we had to do for work, and I kind of just lost the number. wasn't really, I wasn't sure. Um, and one day, I was just kind of, you know, having one of those days, and she came up to me and asked if I was okay. And so that was a little spark at the beginning. And then just one day, I came to visit. The store was a little bit crazy. And I just went up and hugged her, and it literally from there was the start of a beautiful friendship. And I'm so thankful to have her in my life. And I'm sure she's probably watching this video and laughing, but I do love you, Lula. Okay, 36 favorite food. Oh, pasta. Hands down, pasta. I can eat pasta day and night, breakfast, lunch, dinner, 24-7. And if I'm not eating pasta, I'm either eating Chinese food or tacos. The 37 place you want to visit. Well, I do have on my bucket list, and I'm, like I said, I'm a huge Disney fan. So, on my bucket list is to visit all of the Disney parks. So, I've already visited Disney World. So, we Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Hong Kong, Disneyland Tokyo, Disneyland Shanghai, Alani, which is in Hawaii, and I'm sure there's one more that I'm forgetting. Oh, Disney Cruise. So, yes. Do you have a crush? Is on the celebrity count? I don't know if I really have a crush crush. Yes, I do. Last time you kissed someone would probably be my ex. Um, last time you were insulted. I don't remember. I don't really get insulted that much. And if I do, I just like to tune it out, like, kind of, like, erase that part. 42 favorite flavor of sweet. Isn't it sweet? I guess, like, sugary? I, I don't know how to answer the question, so I'm just going to skip it. Um, what instrument do you play? I don't play any instruments. I only know how to play the recording. Order. Um, 44 pair piece of jewelry. My favorite piece of jewelry, I would have to say, is a tie between my earrings and my pass ring. I wear this religiously, and if I have either or off, I will fidget and touch my ears or my fing the finger that the ring is on continuously until it's 
back on my finger or my ears. I just, I, I like them and they're statement pieces and it's just a reminder of the people who gave them to me and that who worked so hard to get me these ones. Let's see. Last sport you played. Does dance consider the sport? I love watching football though, if that counts. Um, let's see, favorite chat up line. Mine is, hey girl, hey. Or, um, yeah, pretty much is, hey girl, hey. Or, hey. Or, um, that's pretty much it. Um, have you ever used it? Yeah, when I'm texting. If not, if I'm, like, face to face, I'd say, hey. Um, last time you hung out with anyone in outside of work? Would probably be Thursday. I went to Lugo's house and we had new dinner. Uh, 50. Who should answer these questions next? Well, I'm opening up to anybody who wants to do them. But I didn't really think about who um, should do it that I know. Um, I should have been more prepared. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm pretty much opening me to anybody who wants to do it, um, but if you do do it, please tag me or leave it in the below so I can watch it. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching and sticking through all of this ramble jamble, which I'm sure sounded pretty awkward, but I'm hoping you guys will stick around. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a magical day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye! Mwah. Hey girlies! So it's Sarah again and I am back with a new video. Um, excuse me if I'm wearing the same outfit and just won't play filming a bunch of stuff. <laughs> so today's video is going to be the digital bag. So I, like I said in my previous video, you probably end up guessing why I'm for this one, but if not, I am a huge, huge, huge Disney fan. I am actually a Disney cast member. I work at the Disney store and it's seriously the most, no pun intended, the most magical job I could have ever gotten. Um, I love it. I love the people, my managers, the environment. I just love it. So, without further ado, I'm going to do the Disney tag. Um, so the first question is, a scene in any Disney movie you wish you could experience? Can I just say I would wish I experienced the whole entire Beauty and the Beast movie? Like, not even one scene, just the whole movie. That is my favorite movie of all time. Hands down. I just want to experience all of it. That's my answer. Number two, an unforgettable experience you've had at the parks. Oh, oh I, I know this one. So, my stepdad um, is not a huge Disney fan at all. So, I took him to Disney for the first time with me, and I got him a first time button, and I wrote his name, and he was so happy. It was a seriously magical moment, but I did have another magical moment. I went with family friends to Disney, and it's, um, his little, and you know, the little son's birthday, and I got him a birthday button with his name on it, and I had Mickey present it to him. And he was so happy. He was smiling from ear to ear. And seriously, it was the most rewarding sight I could have ever witnessed. Okay. That was sweet. Oh, sorry. One non-Disney song reminds you or brings back memories of Disney and or the parks. Um. Oh, gosh. There's so many good. <laughs> I guess a song. I don't know. I like a lot of Disney songs. I so I can't really pick non-Disney songs that remind me of the parks. I don't know. Hi everyone, it's Sarah again. Um, so like I had mentioned in my last video. Um, I have 
apply to Disney College programs, so I have a little bit of insight of how that application process works. Um, but I do have a friend, a very close friend, her name is Krista, that has applied and gotten in. So if you want kind of another uh, set of eyes, experience, a whole different experience, I will be more than happy to link her uh, channel down below and you can message her and she will be more than happy to answer anything, any questions, comments, concerns, worries you have about the process, application process, or the experience in general. So yes, so um, the application process is seriously one of the most nerve-wracking things you will most likely experience in your life. Um, so there's two application seasons. We have fall and spring. So if you are thinking of applying in the fall, that goes from August until January. To, um, or you can do fall advantage, which goes from May until January. So you can apply for any of that, and applications for that are usually sometime in February. Or you can do for spring, spring advantage, so it's anywhere from January until August, or January until May. So whichever one you would prefer. And applications um, usually drop for those in August. So they have dropped for the spring of 2016. The applications already dropped for that on the website, and I'll leave that website down below so you guys can check it out. Um, so usually when the applications drop, um, there's a whole lot of chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. That's the one thing I can mention is utter chaos. Um, I've applied twice. So the first time I did make it all the way, um, but the second time I did apply right away. And sometimes, unfortunately, and as horrible as it sounds, I was placed into submission. So it's nothing bad. It just means they haven't gotten in to review your application yet. Um, so it's a little bit of nerve-wracking because you really don't know what it means. Uh, you don't really explain anything to you about it. Oh, sorry about that. In general. So it's pretty much the waiting game. And that's pretty much the whole process in general is the waiting game. Um, so I was put into the submission and I kind of ended up getting stuck there for the whole, whole thing. Um, but the first time I applied, I did apply a little bit later. Um, and I got to second stage. Um, but... It's jumping ahead myself. So when you apply, it pretty much asks you for basic information, name, social ID, uh, you know, address, uh, major school you go to. Um, and then on the next sec part of that, it asks, it tells you the full list of roles, and if you have um, high, high, moderate, low, or no interest. Um, and so I really, really really recommend you take your time on this and read through each role and kind of uh, go onto the website and see what that role entails. Um, I know a lot of people here on YouTube have videos on the roles and what it has, what, you know, what it, uh, what it offers and what you can do and that kind of job. And I really, really, really recommend you to think thoroughly because you don't want to, you know, I know a lot of people that pick custodial as, you know, high interest just to get into the program and they get in and they don't like it um so i really recommend you thinking about it and you know just thinking things through um so yes then after that you will submit um so within a couple minutes it says um thank you for your application and so then you kind of just wait again and then either an hour or so or sometimes a day or so, you will hopefully get to the second step, which is the web-based interview. And the web-based interview is not as hard as people say it is. It's pretty much common sense. Just, you know, answer, you know, genuinely, um, but make sure you stick with your answers and just follow it continuously. Um, so if you do pass the web-based interview, you will get a third step, and that is the phone interview. Now, the phone interview for me was the most nerve-wracking part, because you're pretty much 
telling somebody over the phone why you want to work for Disney and why you, they should pick you over somebody else. So yes, um, I kind of studied way too much and got way too nervous and I feel like that hindered my chances a lot. Um, so just kind of overlook it, you know, look it over and kind of review if you want to say bait your bullet point. <sighs> Sorry about that. And make your bullet points and kind of, you know, just show them that you really do want this. So after that, um, you'll have your phone interview and then it's the waiting game. And so it takes about two weeks to a month for them to get back to you about that. If, if they don't want you, they will let you know right away. You will be NLIC'd, which is no longer in consideration. If not, you know, you will wait the waiting game. Um, you know, I did get through to the last round, and I did complete the last round. Um, and I waited until the very last day, and unfortunately, I didn't get in. But uh, after my second time applying, I did apply for the Disney store, and I work there now. And I couldn't be more happier.